Hello, today I'm excited to announce the release of our YouTube AI agent. It's really cool. It's a big time saver for me personally, and I think for a lot of people, if you get information from YouTube, which a lot of like news is on YouTube, but you don't wanna to have to go through 20 minutes or an hour of a video, this tool is for you. And it does more than what you think. This is not just a wrapper. This is not uh, just a simple uh, in out AI call. So uh, there's three things that it does. And in order of uh, least cost effective to, I'm sorry, most cost effective to least cost effective, you can ask it for a summary, which is uh, really cool in and of itself and just generally uh, very helpful for some like really long videos uh, or videos where it's just like, hey, there's just kind of like one thing you want to get out of it. It can also generate notes. And I'm going to show you all these in a second, which is like a comprehensive kind of notes from the video, which is more than a summarization. And then you can ask it specific questions. Um, this one is more challenging than it, it seems. You can't just do the, the simple uh, you know, vector database call, if you know what that is. Uh, there's a bit more to it that in order to uh, actually answer a specific question about a video. So let's, let's put this to the test. So here's a video, a uh, good podcast this week in startups. Uh, recommend you, you watch the whole thing, but um, let's just say I wanna see do I even really want to watch this one? I don't watch all of the, the, listen to all the podcasts. Let's just do this. Please give me a summary of this. Um, actually, let's uh, let's do a stopwatch just to, to, to ch check how long it takes. This should be, this one's actually pretty quick. Uh, so it's gonna give me a summary. I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, not bad at about 26 seconds considering the average GPT-4 API call is 20 seconds. So uh, that's not, not bad uh, for calling the model. So, so this is a pretty good summary. Um, I don't think I wanna watch it, but let's, let's actually ask for, for notes. Uh, please generate notes uh, for, let's put this video in again and we'll hit this stopwatch see how long this takes probably takes a little bit longer so we're already at two minutes and 45 seconds and it's still running and i want to make a point that uh, to note that this is a pretty long video at, at an hour and so the longer the video is the longer this will take because it is going through the whole video so okay i think i got a little distracted there uh it is finished now at uh i think it was about seven minutes so Let's take a look at what it did. So it, it created a more of a bullet dot, 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 uh, more detail. Think of this as like a detailed summary. Um, and uh, I think this is, if you want to really dig deep, and to me, for something like this, this is plenty good to actually uh, get what I want out of this video, which um, I might actually have stopped after the first summary because I'm not really interested in what the what the US government is doing with regards to AI and, and intelligence and stuff like that. It's not really very relevant to me right now. Okay, let's try something a bit harder. Um, we're gonna ask it a specific question, which is not um, a trivial thing. This is the, the most challenging thing that we accomplished with this. It's the most ambitious. Um, I'm actually kind of curious. I don't know if it'll get this right, so don't expect it to get it exactly right. I'm curious, what is you know, Colonel Jonathan Boyd's biggest concern with regard uh, about AI with regards to the security of the United States. So we will we'll try this, and this is the most expensive of the operations. We'll see how long this takes. Okay, so it actually came back in less than a minute, um, and it says the context does not provide specific information about his concerns. Um, now, I'm, I don't plan on um, watching the whole video, hour-long video to, to listen to this. The discussion revolves around the use of drones and the importance of software and modern uh, warfare, but it's not directly address Boyd's views on the topic. Let's actually just double check this. I'm gonna read this notes to make sure that it matches that, and then we'll give it a soft yes, a soft yeah, got it right. And if you find something in your experience that you think it does wrong for that one, please let me know. So after reading this, I'm not completely sure that I can mark this as confirmed. It does look like they talked about AI a, a little bit, but not, uh, not a lot and so it's possible that they he didn't really express this sp specific opinion the intent of this is sometimes there is like a 20 minute video and you don't need a summary you don't want a summary you don't want um a uh you, you don't want detailed notes you want one specific answer uh there is a video that i have in mind i'm gonna that we're gonna run this test again on here right now okay in this video 
I want to ask it, what is Google's AI emergency? All right, so this is a 46 minute video. Um, I'm not as consider concerned about Apple's low key moves. I, I know about Asura. I just want to know what is Google's AI emergency? What is Google's AI emergency? What? Let's, let's make it, yeah, let's just do this. And we'll paste that video and we'll hit the feed robot and go. All right, it did that in about a little bit less than 20 seconds. The term does not appear. Okay, the use of AI in various applications, huh? Let's run a, a more detailed test to see if maybe they don't mention it specifically. Here is Google's AI emergency, but they kind of talk around that with the frame of that on the top, or uh, I think the notes will, will give us this answer. Also, there's a shorter video, so it'll also give us another stopwatch opportunity. All right, please generate notes for the video, and we'll start, and I'll, I'll see you in a second. Okay, uh, my developer told me that the notes actually should be much faster. So the seven minutes was an abnormality, and this one took like 40 seconds. Let's call it 42 seconds. So uh, all the operations should generally be under a minute, but every once in a while there's some sort of quirk or like the, oh, even like if we're calling OpenAI, sometimes their their service kind of goes down for a, like a minute. Uh, and so we have to kind of wait and call, wait and call. So in general, things should take less than a minute with this. Let's, let me let me review this real quick. Okay, I think the title is referring to this, but the way that they talked about it with uh, Google's issue with distorted answers um, like are, are likely deep within. That's kind of what they're saying. They're saying that this is, this is not a small thing that can be just tweaked, that they might actually have to scrap it or make huge changes to fix it. So I kind of understand why it wouldn't get that answer. I think I'm not going to give it a pass. I'm going to see if we can still figure that out but it does look like the question answering, it really has to match um, the tone of like what it is that you're asking for it to be able to identify it. Because saying Google's issue versus Google Google's emergency, uh, I don't think the AI actually knows that those are kind of along the same lines. And then I think also part of what they're doing is they're talking about it from multiple angles. And so it's like the Google's emergency is under this kind of category of multiple other things that they're talking about. Like th this continues to like refusal to, to construct an argument. Um, this is all I think related to Google um, right down here. You know, it, Gemini, that's also Google. Uh, so I, I think that when it's a long conversation that kind of a, a human could see, could listen to that 10 minutes and say, oh yeah, that is related to Google's emergency without them actually saying Google's emergency. Uh, something to note. So uh, don't don't take it exactly with the question and answering, but the uh, the video summarization, the notes does seem to work really really well. Uh, feel free to try the question and answering, and if it really gives you if it really gives you challenges, uh, let me know. Send me send me um, some screenshots or, or links to your sam samples of, what, of your conversations, and I'm I'm happy to take a look at it and see what we can do to improve that that specific feature. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll put a link to Hyperprompts below. Check it out. You can, you can get a free account. Uh, go ahead and click through, and uh, I'll see you on the inside. Have a great day. Bye.